Alright guys, so here we're going to talk about Hairspray, 1988's best uh, John Waters movie. It ain't right, dancing so have to you, that colored music. Have you seen this originally? I probably saw it at some point. Let me be upfront about this. Mm -hmm. I almost barely didn't give this movie a chance. Okay, why just, is that? I just let it play and like, I kind of think I hate John Waters. Really? I really so like I I like I I went on uh, on his IMDb and uh -huh. just checked and I'm like right these are all the movies that I remember I think that I enjoyed Serial Mom um, Serial Mom a great, uh, you know Pink probably, Flamingos well, um, Cry Baby is probably my my favorite one, I'm not even sure if I saw those uh, I know one a lot day of, I'll make you watch Cry Baby like a lot of other people liked a lot of those movies I've I've seen parts of them and I've heard things about them and I've mm -hmm. seen stuff I've seen some of like the later ones I think or whatever but like. I just really like a dirty shame maybe with uh, Knoxville. I have no idea, but I really hate the whole like oh maybe the status quo is like not so good after all, huh? Like I I just it like grates on me. It like bothers me. This, okay. This whole concept of like oh the adults are like oh and like the kids are like we're cool and like all the I'm like oh my god guys yeah. guys please. Like I'm like I'm like I get it. Oh my god! Like, cause like I guess like, um, and I'm not even that weird, but just like like I'm not a normal person. I'm not like oh we should go to the bank and like eat with several forks. Like I'm not like one of those like and like I I don't know any people like that. Uh -huh. So like there's no more thing to like rebel against. Like who are you talking to? My parents weren't like that. No one was like that. Only John Waters' parents were like that apparently. And he has mm -hmm. to make all these movies about how like oh my god we just eat shit and do poetry and it's this great thing. And I'm like I don't know. You just do whatever you want anyway. I didn't need a movie to tell me that. What, what, do, you, what, what, what do you think? I, I like... <laughs> I, uh, like, I like he's this. one of my favorites? I love him. No, he's no, the he's, he's not one of my favorites. I, I've not seen everything he's done. Um, yeah. I think he's a, a creepy, like, interesting person. He um, seems like a really cool dude. I'll, I will, I'm, I'm not saying that. Yeah. So, like, but for, like, you know, 1988, we have... Um, uh, like like big just came out twins oh. who framed Roger Rabbit <laughs> like yeah this uh, is definitely like, like you know like an older movie it, that's what I'm saying so, so yeah. put it in, into perspective of the things that are coming out I I like the color choices of this movie I think that it's cool um, so he features a a young Ricky Lake yeah uh, you know, who you may know from like the Ricky Lake show uh, I remember at, you know as a kid seeing the Ricky Lake show and mm -hmm. having people say oh she's uh, used to, she used to be heavy. Or something like that. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, okay. Weird. So, like... How do you know this person? The the structure of this movie is you have this uh, th this girl and, uh, you know, her mother and father, her mother and father. The father uh, is, is uh, Jerry Stiller. That's Ben Stiller's dad. Oh, yeah. Her mom is, is Divine. Divine. Uh, who is, you've known from other John Waters movies. Uh, Divine also ends up playing the owner of the uh, the network or whatever. And that was great, seeing Divine... Um, as a guy and a yeah, girl. Yeah, like, not in drag uh, as an awesome... Uh, uh-huh other like super you know stereotypical like over the top role sort of like you know so so like ricky lake like watches this show on tv it's like you know that this this dance show and she's like i i'm good i could be on this show and I it's, it's her rise to uh to take over like you know the show with the the normal person can do a fight for uh black rights and uh to, like the takedown of your standard uh like you know rich white family uh, who it like the, the their family is played by uh fucking uh, what's her name? Sonny Debbie, Bono, uh, Deborah Harry, yeah. and Vitamin C are the wa the waspiest, it's, most power white. Uh, it's such couple a crazy thing yeah. though, because like this is Vitamin C before she's famous, yep. obviously. Debbie no. Harry already from Blondie. Yep. Uh, Sonny Bono of Sonny and Cher, who is super famous. <laughs> Sonny Bono, so, like, who's fucking Sonny Bono. This crazy real like white bread family yeah. uh, of like privilege, and then you have you know. Like this, uh, this the, and, joke store owner, and, uh, and like their names. I forget uh, Deborah Harry's family's name, the Van Somethings or uh, whatever, right? Yeah, like Van Cumberbunds or something. Yeah, and yeah. then and then and then like um, Ricky Lake's fan was like the Turnblofts. <laughs> yeah, this fucking like even their name is this like fat, ugly mess of like a name or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So that like I I like that whole thing and, and like. Ever, like the, the speaking of a movie where you look at everyone, there's somebody. Uh, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. Oh, like this movie is like you're like, oh, crazy. I got fixated on Josh Charles. <laughs> oh, Josh Charles. He's from the Dead Poets Society. He's from Society everything. And, I know. Uh, and I was like, who are you? Oh my god. I had to. And like, he has a very bit part in yes, this movie. But he's uh, he's in like the first scene though because it, it's all the kids on like the show doing uh -huh. dances back and forth. His face is the like, same for I 40 know years. That he still looks exactly or like he still looked exactly the same. 20 years later mm -hmm. when I was seeing him still and stuff. Yeah, he's, he's one of those He was in some TV show about, like, late night news or something. or like, Yeah. And he was good. 
No, like uh, like something about him. I'm like, I know you and I like you. Where? Who are you? But yeah, mm-hmm. the movie's riddled with people. There's so many people. And, uh, so many her things. best friend in the the show is this Penny girl. Yeah. And I was like, what else is she in? Because like she's interesting. Literally nothing. It's actually this is the insane. only thing she's ever done. I, we did the same thing. So I went on IMDb and and I'm like verifying and just uh-huh. checking people off. And I'm like, oh oh oh, his name is Josh Charles because I I never knew that guy's name before, for example. Uh-huh. And then when I got to her, I'm like, oh, she must be something. And then she's literally she did this movie and then. John Waters sent her back to wherever she was from. Yeah, it's strange. And she's never done anything I else. I thought that she was decent in this. She was fine. I, I liked her yeah. character. I thought that, like, the, like just the suck it on the fireball thing and just yeah. you know, put it back. I was, I was like, that's a unique trait that I, like, I, I think was fun. No, uh, she, and was, then, she was, uh, she was nothing else. projecting a certain whatever. Yeah. It, it was cool. I liked it. Then uh, the one that played, what was her, Motormouth, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so familiar to me. Okay. And I go to her IMDb and I'm like, why do I know you? And I couldn't, I couldn't find what the thing mm. was that, like, what, what the trigger. Uh, but I'm like, I'm like, I definitely have seen her in something. I don't know if couldn't, I have. Couldn't place yeah. it, though. But uh, maybe it was just a memory from this movie as a child. I didn't go too deep to get too many things mm. from people. But, yeah, d- was this something that you watched a lot as a kid? Was I've seen it once on network TV, and I just remembered it. Oh, and, uh, so, yeah, it's, it's such a different thing. It's not yeah. like other things, yeah. Yeah, I, and I, I don't think, uh, I don't know how much difference it would have been from, like, Channel 9 to, like, the DVD, um, if, yeah. if I, like, things were cut and censored or not, but uh, it, it was Shouldn't interesting. Shouldn't be too bad in this one. No, I, like, I remembered, like, the, pretty much only them in, like, the, when they were in the bad neighborhood walking around and running into, like, the Beatniks house and stuff. <laughs> I, I Such did a not, weird scene. I didn't really remember this movie or what it was. I'm like, I know, I know there's, like a person and then there's dancing and there's an unpopular girl but that was kind of it and then I had seen the, the remake with John Travolta in like 2006 or whatever year that came out I have not but yeah Christopher Walken in that I think yeah. too very a lot of people he's the dad mm. uh, and then you know he is the mom uh, <laughs> it's got potential yeah but no, like, potential. it was an okay movie. I, I, I did not, uh, like, we've suffered through a lot of shit recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah This yeah. was not a suffer-through moment movie for me. No, absolutely not. Um, it, it had some funny bits. I The only things I, I really didn't like was toward the end, the playing up too much of, like, the roach angle and, like, the dress. And I was, I was like, eh. <laughs> How does she have a dress that already is covered in roaches? The, the other girl just said, you know, made up that dance. Well, she said you have roaches in your hair earlier, and I thought this was her, and like, she, oh, I went with my, you know, heavy so they, set dressmaker, and so this they my new line. They were both prepared with callbacks to having roaches in their hair. Or Seemingly, yeah. I like I liked her, con, you know, constantly dragging Ricky Lake for different things or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, Had Ricky won though, legitimately, she couldn't have gotten in that little car anyway. So that wouldn't have been uh, mm. that would have been very embarrassing. That's a that's a plot hole. Yeah. <laughs> That's a that's a vicious plot hole. Well, I think when they would have made all these things, it was at a time when there would have only been slim women. Like uh, like she was breaking the mold, and she would have broke yeah. the mold of that car. Pun. Broken several of the yeah. molds. They would have had to have molded a new one. Yeah, the hefty hideaway. I thought was a good was a good. Yeah, name and how they thing. make her eat a bonbon like when she gets to the end like, of the, the road. I'm like, okay, that's funny. <clears throat> no, and like that 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 salesman guy. Like he has uh, like uh, like treats at his at, at his dress shop. Yeah, he's like, eat up, ladies, Claire. What do you want? <laughs> well, he, he, Don't forget, he's out of business if they lose weight. I, it's it's amazing. Yeah, and that's yeah. and and that's the kind of stuff like that because like I like Edward Scissorhands and and stuff like that, and that mm-hmm. has the same vibe of like this. Yeah, but that like is more like surreal, I think, or something like that. I, th- I think my problem with uh, the, the little John Waters that I've seen is that it's too like there's just people. Do you know what he being looks like? Or whatever. Yeah. So you saw his cameo. Yeah, at, yeah, yeah, yeah. He always has a cameo, right? Yeah. Some of the things. Yeah. He he plays the uh, the anti. Uh, I love like, that integration doctor with oh, his little amazing. like spinning wheel. His like hypnosis wheel and his yeah. cattle prod and all that stuff. No, that was awesome. I loved Penny uh, being like into the black dude and all that stuff. Yeah. She says he's gorgeous. <laughs> Whatever. His, his name like was together. Seaweed, right? His name was Seaweed, which took yeah. me a second. Where I'm like, wait a minute. I kept I kept thinking I'm, I must be hearing it wrong. It must be Seaweed. Yeah. And then I, I looked it up wrong. and I'm like, ah, it's Seaweed. It's mm. at, at the end they do this awesome roll through everyone where they where they show them yeah. like smiling for a second and they have their names and all. Yeah. The, uh, the girl that played the beatnik. Um, I forget yeah. what her name is now, but like because like, it hung on her, I'm like, well, she must be somebody. I'm They're like, both famous. And yeah. uh, she's. She was like the most famous bad actress of the decade or something Ooh. like she she like just missed the Razzie to like Madonna or something like like uh, she was in uh, Santa vs. the Martians like like 
everything she did was I think I guess historically she horrible the, movies. She got the Lifetime Achievement Award for like bad movies. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Because the uh, because the dude's Rico Kasich, right, the musician guy. Uh huh. Yeah. So and I loved him painting and. She like, later found success too. as a musician. Okay. Uh, so she's a singer. Sense. She was not. Yeah. She she bombed out of like movies and I guess was famous later. Later after this movie or later? Uh, no, before no. This, movie? this uh before this movie, I believe. Yeah. So they were like, we we should get two weird musicians. Yeah. To be like, let's hang out and smoke reefer. Let's take our let's take off all of our clothes mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Yeah. So what were your like? What were your walk away thoughts? Because going into you said you weren't we weren't super into it. And you said you kind of like watched oh, that. It so was, now that it's over, what it was thinking? fine. I, I was kind of bored by it. It seemed like not not a lot. Like um, so like some of the stuff that we've gone through were already like my highlights of it or whatever. Okay. I I did like the mom. So like um. Uh, when she goes to like the black neighborhood and does all that stuff. Oh, the mom, the uh, Penny's mom. Freaking I'm sorry, out. yes, Penny's gotcha. mom freaking out and trying to like save her daughter. That's what leads into the John Waters straight yeah. jacket, all all that other business. Um, just because it was so like I loved all of all of the black people always laughing at her. I thought like because she's, it for she's me. hysterical. Exactly. Like, like what's yeah. wrong with you, lady? What do you like? No, they're, I know. They're, they're having a party, and, and like your I, racism is ridiculous. I didn't really laugh at it except the part where she goes to like, uh, oh good, there's a cop, and then oh. And, yeah, and, yeah, and the cop, and like as if it was a Twilight Zone episode, and she was like, "Oh, like, like he's like, ma'am, can I help you?" And she's like, "Oh," and like, and and like runs yeah. away. Like that made me laugh. Where I was like, "Okay, damn, that you know, that's pretty good," or whatever. Um, but no, like uh, the music is fine, but a lot of this is just music and dancing and cutting and all oh, that she's doing it and all that stuff. Yeah, at times and there like, can be a little bit too much like yeah. long hang on some of the dancing cuts, I think. But, but that's like I, I I think that's what's supposed to like propel you through. This is supposed to be like a like a teen at the hop like dance yeah. movie thing or whatever. I don't know. I don't know enough about this or what it's trying to parody and like uh, subvert to even. I'm so just like. Dancing is not forbidden. You can dance if you want. Black people, white oh, the, people, the, anybody. Well, yes, right? now. I know. Yeah. This was a different, uh, different, uh, different time. Uh, I, the biggest walk away from this for me was how colorful the sets were for a show that's black and white. And I and I wondered, I'm like, I guess I, I guess all things were like that. Isn't that they strange? How much thing, you yeah. had to, how much effort you would put into something, and how dumbed down you would see. Like picture like color choices, and I need to evolve on. And you're like, all right, it's black and white. And and yeah. only this set is is designed for the people that are on the set to really enjoy, I and want, that's almost sad. I wonder if people many years from now are are going to say stuff like that, like why was this all you know so detailed, or like why why was this set in like three D if you were not going to film with a three D camera, like all those things, right? Well, It'd that would be how would you thing. make this two D? You'd have to stand in front of no, it. No, I'm 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 like making a like a like an analogy, right? I wonder because hmm. like the camera or, or like the video audio recording stuff can only get so much detail and like fidelity out of yeah. something like that but they still had all had all like the normal stuff there or whatever right no, the set was beautiful so it's like a Pee-wee's stuff playhouse that, uh, of color and, yeah, then, and yeah. I'm like oh it really doesn't show on the TV no no yeah there was a lot of good stuff with that with like cutting between uh, like the audio design and like the visual design mm-hmm. cutting from looking at people looking at the show to the show or vice versa yeah it was really good stuff I thought Deborah Harry did a, did a really good job. I liked everything with her until the exploding head thing. I was I was yeah. like, what the hell is that? Just kill her. <laughs> no, like part of me was like, oh, is you know, it, you know, is it gonna go over the line now? Are are, are we gonna go for it? Is she dead? And she's just like, and it's like, yeah, it's like kind of cartoony. They kind of drag them off like Boris and Natasha or something. It's a weird little. Like thing, yeah. I think a lot of John Waters has stuff like that where someone's yeah. like, "I'm going to poison the water supply" or some weird thing out of nowhere where mm-hmm. they're like, "Wait, you're crossing the line from this like fun thing where there there are no consequences into like you know, oh, there's a race ride and we're like the cops are beating the black kid or something." And I'm like, "Holy mm-hmm. crap!" Um, when when that older woman smashes her boyfriend's knees, that made me like, laugh ah! too. I was like, "What the hell just happened?" And then later on, they say like like what they they uh, dislocated his knees or whatever the whatever the, what the word was because like he just got bopped in the knees and he's crawling like an army man who lost his but legs. She, so like. So, so like again, it's so like I actually started googling. Like I don't understand John Waters. I don't get John Waters. What? Okay. What, what is the and point? what came up through your nothing? Google searching. It's just John Waters interviews talking about stuff. Like no one else has this problem. I don't know if because what like, don't you get? I'm thinking there must be something I'm missing to like think that this is like a big deal or like good. And like a lot of people seem to think that it's a big deal and good. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, like whatever. I guess in so. order to really answer, I need to know like what do you feel is missing? Where is it falling short for you? 
ah, it just feels like nothing happened in this movie. It just feels like uh, the, there were some funny parts, but not enough to, for me to be like, that was an awesome comedy that I want to watch again. It just felt like a lot of musical vignettes and a lot of like over the top, like overwrought, um, you know, on you know on the nose, um, either literal or like figurative things against the segregation and the status quo and all these other uh -huh. things. Well, I think you also have to think about the time that things come out and when they are like, and not that this was a million years ago. I was but, gonna say this was he, uh, the late eighties. Late eighties. So, but he's talking about something from the sixth, like and not that we don't have racism yeah. now, but uh, it, it, him doing his period piece. If you think about these things being said in the period they were set in, I think that's why they're so on the nose because yeah. Uh, but his his little visual storytelling has always been like, well, hey, like this is naughty or this is a little extreme or this is whatever. Yeah, yeah. He seems like he's trying to be edgy for the sake of being edgy, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, and like, I don't think I respond to that. This is though more well, of his toned down things. Yeah, like, this is like, like all the things that, the that most he has that have John commercial Waters, values. Right? Yeah. I think are never going to be those hard-hitting things. It's not yeah. divine eating dog shit off the street. I know, but that's like the worst of it to me. So like, okay, so this feels like it's that same thing, but you've stripped out all of the stuff that's so edgy that like that makes it interesting by itself. So uh -huh. there's just like nothing left for me. There's mm. just dancing and like, don't do the dancing. We danced and it was good. Like it, it feels like a parody of like one of those things. It is kind now. of a parody. Right, exactly. uh, And it's considered a musical comedy, even though it's not really a musical in any way. Well, uh, it, there's, there's it's, just, it's a, like music-driven comedy, I might yeah, say, yeah. and maybe there's not a category for that. I, I don't would know, just but like, a comedy. I think that's what people would call it a musical for. Is like a musical um, has set pieces that are songs and, and like drives it with the music. I or guess, whatever. but yeah. if there's never anyone actually singing or playing instruments, yeah. I personally wouldn't label it a musical. I guess I think it's more like the structure and like what the music means to mm. what's happening or whatever. But you can have a, a regular movie that just has a very good soundtrack that is driven, and it would have the same, I think, amount of power as this would. Well, like, if all those songs were, um, like, dance numbers, <laughs> where all the characters are, like, participating in the song or whatever, right? I'm trying to think of a movie that is heavily involved in dance to, to like, be like, well, they don't call this in there, but I don't, I'm, not, I'm not big enough into the dance movies. No, 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 no. Um, no. Like, uh, like, um... Well, like, if you just take the analogy to, like, an action movie or something like sure. that, right? The fights are, like, what's propelling, like, like, the whole plot is just a, like, um, you know, uh, like, Christmas light thing, just hanging together all these bright spots uh -huh. that are all these fights or something like that. And that's why it's an action movie, because it's, like, driven by all the fights and all, <laughs> and all the action and all that stuff. I guess, but the same yeah. thing can be said for, like, like step up or bring it on or all those things like they're yeah. they're you know dance involved but you, but you wouldn't call them a uh, I might call them musical comedies I, I you know, might I don't a strange I, duck I don't know how funny they are yeah like anything like I, like all those Bollywood movies anything where like but you all know, I, I like, don't know um, this for a fact but I've, I've seen like, a half uh, of a Bollywood aren't yeah. all Bollywood movies literally singing and dancing. They might be singing, but I don't really care if the people are singing and dancing or just dancing <laughs> or like whatever, right? That's not a that, that's not a big enough uh, distinction. I guess for me. I have to Google. I guess what the definition of a musical is. To me, it's always been like you know a uh, where a part of this is presented with us not talking but using our voices and singing. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just a minor thing. This is like on the fringe thing where you might say like, well, because the characters aren't uh, singing their thoughts, then we probably should classify it differently. But it's under the same like umbrella as like a music-driven um, story, something like that. Because mm. so if you don't have the songs, like the songs are like the fights in like a in like an action movie where you're like establishing who's who and like what's what and why is this happening, and then this song is like her victory over her, and this song is this thing happening here. Or I would consider Empire Records more of a musical comedy than I would this, because at least there are singing and, and like there are cuts to things in that movie. Okay. You know what I'm M saying? They're like, so, well, Empire Records feels like a, you know, uh, you know, like that, like. Uh, but that more movie of like a would just be called a comedy. Probably. And that's yeah. where I'm like, where does this distinction rise? I need to know exactly, get to the root of this evil. It might be, so like, it might be the one thing is called this, but is actually this other thing that's in between the two, and this thing just happens to be called the other one, but it's actually the thing that's in between the two, where you're going from thing to thing. Hate it. Oh, yeah. So at the end of the day, would you recommend this movie? Uh, I, I wouldn't, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I, uh, I thought it was a, a fine movie to have on in the background. It was something that I hadn't seen in... Uh, <sighs> Probably twenty something years. Uh, yeah. So uh, you know, I I I saw this um, and I was I was like, oh yeah, I'll get that for a dollar. And 
and that's how we was, got to um, this. Was your was your like coming back to it like, oh, it's just as great as I remember, or like, oh, everything's Did the same as I remember? Did not remember nearly or, enough to really make that fair of an assessment. But okay. I, I think I, as a child, was I was like, oh, that was pretty good. Like, yeah. uh, and I guess I'll, I guess I will say that same thing now. That eh, was pretty good. Oh, pretty good. Um, certainly worth a dollar. I would, I would check it out. Like if, if it was on hand on TV and you had nothing to do, I'd say, yeah, give it a watch. I don't know if it's something I would search out for and find. I think there are, there are better ways to spend your time, but it's something mm. that is, is certainly, uh, talked about and, uh, no one is a movie. And if you haven't seen it, you might want to see it for those reasons. Yeah, like I feel like I'm missing something, and I feel like I should go look up like um, someone's analysis of the movie and like what's so good about it, and then mm -hmm. I might either have something to like disagree with or have something to like. Um, uh, oh, okay, now I see what you're talking about, or something like that. Mm. But it was sort of boring to me. Uh, the mu I, I don't love this style of music either. Like I like it; it's okay because everyone quote unquote likes this basic uh -huh. like old you know older music that's very accessible and fine, but. Um, you know, if I had been into this type of music, I feel like I'd be like, oh, yeah, that was fun. That was awesome. Or something like I that. I always right? like a period piece, and this is like, you know, a it's a fine, campy, fun time. It, like, you know, it's, mm. it's, it's certainly not fun. this crazy special thing. And I, I don't even know how, how many things I have where, like, people said, like, oh, that movie's epic to me or, you know, like, ever. Yeah. Um, I do think it is universally, uh, like, liked. And it was, it was yeah. at least liked enough that it spawned a, remo a remake with, you know, yeah, famous no. actors. I have the perception that people are super into this. They're super into John Waters. And this is, like, the one that you would show someone to just kind of open the door to them or something like that. I feel like John Waters is kind of whatever. a niche community. I don't. I don't think he's this huge. Uh, yeah, but like there are people that are super into it. I'm saying. Like, oh yeah, well that can yeah. be said about people that like to eat roaches. I know, but like more than that, like there's uh, a there, there's like <laughs> factions amongst. Uh, They're trying to make roach flour people. now. It's going to be pretty popular. That will save the world, but that's, that's a whole different story. I've heard ant ant meal too. And uh, grasshopper. Mm. All the bugs. Now I'm starving. I could eat. Yeah, so that's the thoughts. I guess it's a split decision. So you're a thumbs down. I on this yeah, one? I don't know. I, I I don't feel very passionately either way about it. I don't it. I don't have any enthusiastic thumbs okay. up, but I I will I will give it a thumbs up because I don't think it deserves the thumbs down. Um, hmm. My rating system. This is probably like you know right down the line. It's like a five. Um, like you know. We're trying to do the thing where everything starts at a five and then it either pushes you or like pulls yeah, you away from really, the five. Yeah, it doesn't really. It doesn't really too like at the best it would be like the lowest. Uh, no, like a five nine or something. Like, like it's it's certainly better than mediocre because there's there's no egregious errors or whatever. And like, I don't like it in concept alone. Like, while some movies could achieve a flat line, while it's like oh, I had bad audio production, the idea was pretty good. This one, right. like, it was across the line. Like, you know, it it, it passed all portions of being a film. Um, I, I but I don't think it has replay value. Uh, I don't think okay, I would watch it again. Hmm. Um, you know, maybe twenty years from now, I would I would every check it out. Every twenty years, yeah. you committed to watch <laughs> to watching uh, hairspray. No, uh, yeah, I'm super. Um, because if I start at at a five, mm -hmm. I'm docking it because I I like act, I, you know actively do not enjoy the like method that it's trying to get its point across with. But then it fights back a little bit because some of the parts do work for me, some of the performances mm -hmm. and some of the humor and all that stuff. So I'm I'm sort of waffling like below a five. I'm sort of in like the. 4.7 area or something like that. I never took it for like like and clearly there's there's like a message to be had there, but I yeah. I never took it as like this is my ulterior motive, this is a message. I just took it as like that's just an element of the movie. Um like you know, while some guess, movies yeah. are not are not big about what the message is, but you can like clearly like well the underlying tone is obviously that we have to fight for Native American rights. Yeah, and, and like yeah, this yeah. movie because it's on the nose so much, I never took it as as a like well he's lobbying me to like for a belief. It was just like no, it's at the time this movie is set in and this is what's happening and blah 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 blah. And yeah, so uh, I for guess. that. I don't feel like the movie's really set in like reality. I feel like it's. I don't like think a, any of his movies are. It's though. like a f exactly. I, I I don't feel like it's a like like the only period being pieced here is like John Waters is like like uh, like thoughts and emotions. <laughs> yeah. It's just like so like I guess I would have wanted it to go more in like what like that's my issue I think is is I'm I'm at I'm at, I'm at a crossroads. Okay. And it's not a movie where like dancing is racism or like dancing fixes things and isn't that. There's a reason why that's good or bad or something about that or whatever, right? Or then over here, like, oh, like, it's just a dumb thing where we have dancing and, like, we're minimizing the problems of, like, reality. And isn't that what all the stupid dancing and, like, culture and, like, mainstream stuff is doing or whatever, right? There seems to just...
just be like, because like if he's not trying to tell me something about something about culture or like whatever, then like I I have no reason to be here. Then there's nothing for me. So I'm I'm trying to grasp to find some reason for this to exist. Like I would take it as oh, like so like harsh. you know if you took any movie that's about World War II but instead made it a space movie and then like. It, yeah. w- it would be like, I wouldn't have to walk away with this, this uh, thing like, oh, God, we really do have to fight this oppression, and they can't do this to the Jews or what And, like, yeah. but th- and this is like where it's like, well, of course, racism is, is, is bad and this and that, but I don't think the movie was trying to say, like, through dance we have the great equalizer no, 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 we can no. express the blah, blah, blah. I, th- I think it was just a simple backdrop for the movie, and that's an element. Yeah, what's the point of the movie, then? Uh, it's entertainment. Oh, man. Okay. He, he, I don't think he, every... He I, didn't I knock it out of the park there. There's too much, yeah. uh, like, involved with the, everyone, everything having a meaning. And while certainly there, there is a meaning behind things, I, I think to approach everything searching for that meaning takes no, no, me no, out no, of no. the moment. I mean, like, um, well, so, like, I don't like dancing and talking and, and like, gross stuff. So, like, I'm not into the movie. So, uh, John Waters, though, feels like he's trying to parody or hold up a whatever to he parodies like and, wholesomeness yeah like culture and mainstream wholesomeness right he's trying to say that like that's bad or like that that's not what it's, what it's all cracked up to be right like the people in the family who are like the like um, aristocratically like we are entitled to this victory because we are perfect and like we don't have blemishes and if we get a blemish it's like a big deal or, or like whatever uh-huh. those are are the people who are like violent and bad and like willing to do horrible stuff or like whatever but the other people People that you would think are like the gross and bad whatever people those are like the good people that want to help everyone even at a time when you're not supposed to be helping these mm-hmm. people they want to go above and be like like i feel like this is like dripping with like a message and like a certain thing that it's trying to do well there's certainly again i'm not saying there's not a message but i'm yeah. saying i did not go into this trying to find a message i just took these characters for who they are that like characters are good characters are bad these ones are bad these ones are good this is the movie yeah. and i thought it was all right you obviously did not think. No, that. no, no I, just, I did, just didn't personally like enjoy it. I want to search more about John Waters and what's going on. I think some of the more extreme stuff might, might have more of an impact, or it might make more sense to me, or like whatever. Because mm-hmm. people that I respect on the internet are, are are into John Waters in general, and people I know in real life have said, "Oh, Hairspray is great," or something like that. Especially when the remake came out, everyone was very nostalgic for the old one and was like, "Stuff's great," or whatever. But I hadn't really, I thought, seen it myself until now, uh-huh. and I'm very much like, "That's it. This is what this is. This is what." Yeah, I liked his. I liked his characters. Attitude. I like stripping down. Like if you look, if you just look at things as, as their basic core, like uh, like seaweed's mom, just always rhyming. I'm like, that's an interesting character. Uh, I mean, like like I already said, Penny with her fucking like that that tick of always having a fucking uh, yeah. fireball in her mouth. I thought it was funny because you know when people like that were like gum or whatever their bullshit tick is. Um, there was a movie House of the Devil with some bitch who was always licking her fucking fingers, and I hated that. Um, but like, there's all <laughs> these different things, and. Uh, <laughs> And like something, about the, something about the way you phrased it I was like, oh no. Uh, but you, like, you latch yeah. on the little things. I thought he had some interesting character details to his different uh, his yeah. different characters here. And I think that's where John Waters shines for me uh, with all these little idiosyncrasies and craziness about people and how they do things and what yeah. their things are. There's certainly something um, there, definitely. That's that's part of my struggle. Uh, is, uh, is, uh, I'm trying to access it. And you have the weird arc of Ricky Lake's character who goes from the biggest hair in the world to like little hair. <laughs> the hair arc, <laughs> the deepest of whatever. We didn't talk about she. She gets sent. Speaking of hair, to special ed for yeah, just for her hair, for her hair, or whatever. And like that, that was that was an, another point where I laughed. Where like the other like like the, the the like other fourteen good kid actors they had, and then when the special ed kids come in there, they're all laughing and mocking them and all that yeah. stuff or whatever. Like that on the nosing or over the topping of like uh, the way you might have felt as a kid in one or the other mm-hmm. situation. I was like, okay, cool. Some stuff like that. I was yeah, more he's definitely into, a man that turns the, the like the knobs to the extremes, and, yeah. and that's where the humor comes in. That's that's more what I was expecting, but I think that the I think it being about dancing is hurting me a lot hmm. but it's okay we don't have to agree on everything we there's have a singing and decision. dancing and cry baby so we, we'll, we'll see oh, that good. one next <laughs> i don't hate dancing though so like speaking of music so like with musicals or like whatever i saw sweeney todd and mm-hmm. i was like that was pretty good a little heavy on the singing though i think it could have mm-hmm. been less singing and that would have been all right felt that way about the brave little toaster <laughs> yeah well don't even don't even dredge that up yeah, yeah. That's what happened, though. So, like, the Brave Little Toaster, in, in like, my memory, the singing, like, faded away. And I only, like, remembered, he's going to bite down, you know, he, you know, you know his cord and, like, 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 the darkness and the batteries and all that stuff. And, like, the, the, like, stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So, if I do that with, uh, with hairspray, I have nothing left. <laughs> Everything fades away and, I'm just, and, and, and it's just gone. Mm. I have an opposite. It's oh, sad. Like- it's sad that I have no heart. 
I'm okay with that. Though. I don't think it's a hard thing. It's just like you didn't enjoy the movie, hmm. so you don't have a thing to go with. Like, uh, it's all good. I'm trying to think of, of like a counter example. It does of a, kind a situation of situation where we've been in the opposite. It does kind of fit my appetite for um, for um, more John Waters' stuff because now I'm like, okay, I've actually had a, I've actually had like a real case study because I haven't revisited Serial Mom because I'm assuming that's uh-huh. not going to hold up or like whatever. Same thing. Like he has a great thing with color. Like, yeah. uh, like, it, and that's his, uh, like, that Easter palette I, I really enjoy. I liked, I liked the filmmaking. There was nothing mm-hmm. bad about the actual, like, uh, filming or whatever it was. Even how when they go to, like, the poor neighborhood, it, like, feels more like a set. I don't know if that was intentional when they're going from, like, house to house looking for uh-huh. a place to go. I like that. And what a, what a weird thing, though, as they're doing that. It's like, like knocking on, let us in, let yeah. us in, let us right. in. And they find Different time. And, and the people who would actually let them in are super weird. Oh, right? well, of course. Yeah. How else would that work? Yeah, no, I liked th- that that scene was you know was in there. So like the kids were not the weird ones. The kids were mm-hmm. like the the kids were like the the like correct ones in like like in between, right? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. There's something there, and again, this makes me want to go figure out because I I don't think I've ever seen Pink Flamingos and a bunch of those other movies mm-hmm. and uh, like Red Letter Media and people like that like that shit. So yeah, they have some. He has an interesting catalog. Um, I had a uh, I'd recently picked up uh, the a Dirty Shame. Uh, for I don't even know what that is. That's uh, it's another John Waters movie. Yeah. Like, uh, how did good, quick synopsis <laughs> is is this like, uh, like sex craze <laughs> runs through a town? <laughs> sure, and that's kind of the thing. Is he? But I'm a cheerleader or whatever that was no. called. No, that felt like John I don't Waters believe. Yes, yeah, similar feel. I don't believe that's him. Yeah. The closest I have is actually watching Serial Mom and, uh, um. Shit, was that one? Um, Edward Scissorhands. I f- I feel like had that whole thing of like the perfect family, and then this like weird thing injected into it, or whatever. Mm-hmm. The surreal and the colory and the whole thing. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was our our loose tangentized yeah, version right. of a talk about uh, hairspray, the 1988 version. Mm. Uh, let us on the comments what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. Hello, internet. I just love watching Just Daggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. (laughs) Uh, Peace out, homies.